you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Olden Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best investments I think you can have in the game right now. Now, instead of doing this back and forth, bouncing around, I'm going to do it through the block like usual, and I'm going to do by team. So, I'm going to go team by team and give you the best investments as far as what you should be picking up now. Now, I'm going to give you guys price points for them, too. I'm not just going to say buy them now. I'm going to give you guys what you should get them for. If they're overpriced or not, wait a little bit because they'll still be good investments, but you can make more money if you just wait for them to come down a little bit. I know Zerks made a video like this recently. Which is probably why a lot of these guys that I might say are going to be overpriced. So that's why I'm going to tell you to wait on those specific guys. I can tell exactly which ones he probably said. Didn't watch it yet, but I can tell because some of them are way more expensive than they should be at this moment. But if you guys know anything about Madden, you know that some of these cards are going to get upgrades. And they're going to be way overpriced. So get them now while you still can. And before people completely kill the market on them. And you're going to be... Like last night, people who had Christian McCaffrey power up. They had him for like 4k, 5k pop. They had like 10 of them. That's 40k. Last night they they uh, released they announced that there's gonna be a what was it I think it was a signature series Christian McCaffrey so guess what his thing skyrocketed it's like 40k last night if you had 10 of them you made almost 400k after reduction probably 360 there's 360,000 coins and if you have multiple of these investments you can make almost a million coins in one shot if you had like 20 of them so I'm just gonna let you guys know how powerful these investments are now guys if you're new to the channel go down below smack the sub button we're currently rocking over a little over 6k. Like I said in the last video, guys, I'm announcing this to everyone. I do have a 10K subscriber special for you guys coming with another YouTuber. It's going to be something you guys probably haven't seen in a while. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> you guys won't even believe what I'm about to do. So just sub to the sub. Let's get this video to 350 likes. Everything, All of the above. Show some crazy support this month. If we can get to 10K by September, probably September 6th-ish, around the second week of September, first week. Have a crazy 10K subscriber special for you guys if we can hit it. Now, guys. Turn the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video to keep showing some love. Comment down below if I missed any investments or if you guys have some better ones or even specifically DM me on Twitter and I can add them to another video. But guys, let's get into this video. So, hang on over. I'm going to be doing this through power-ups because trust me, there are so many that you guys don't want to miss out on. So, I'm going to start off from team by team because I feel like that's the best way to do it. Instead of bouncing around, I can literally give you every single team's good power. So, we start with bears. If things are looking a little dry, I'll skip ahead. I obviously have teams in mind. First off, any power for 1k isn't a bad buy. Think about it. Alan Robinson gets a new card. You have a bear's theme or anything. He goes up to at least 4k. 1k is never a bad buy. My personal opinion. I think Kyle Fuller is a good investment, personally. 3k? In my opinion, a few buy a few Kyle Fullers. Because, personally, Kyle Fuller, every year, has one of those glitchy cornerback cards that are really, really fast. And 3k, like I said, anything below 3k is a really good price. Terry Cohen, I'd say so if he didn't just get a card. But that's about it for the Bears. The Bears don't have many. Have my list out right here. Now going over to the Bengals. Bengals don't have many either. I do think Joe Mixon's a pretty good card to buy on because Joe Mixon will get some good cards this year. He is a solid, solid running back in real life. And I know he's gonna he hasn't gotten love and Madden before, so I feel like this is gonna be his year. Maybe a few team of the weeks or whatever. So I know Joe Mixon, like any card that gets an upgrade, his his power will go up to at least 10k. So if you buy four of these for 3k, that's 12k. And if they go up to 10k, that's 40k. You subtract the difference and you end up coming away with like 20 extra k after reduction that's about it for the bengals i mean aj green's a good one too but he's gonna be hurt for a few weeks so it's up to you guys if you want to wait that long i mean he could still get a mutt heroes or whatever but i'm not going to count on him getting that card Tredavious white is a really really good investment Tredavious white is going to be a lockdown corner for the bills always gets a good card if he gets another theme diamond he'll definitely get a really good card now we're coming over to the broncos there's not many on the broncos there really isn't. Philip Lindsay's about it, except he just got a card, so you probably have to wait too long. Chris Harris, yeah, one. Well, Chris Harris isn't a bad idea either, but for 7K, I'm probably out on that one. Not too much from them that I'm really looking for. Coming over to the Browns, Kareem Hunt could be a good one, but you'd have to wait till like week nine, so like I wouldn't recommend that now. I'd definitely wait on that one. Jarvis Landry's a decent one. Let me come on down. I don't think the Browns had many either, no. Miles Garrett's not a bad one for 7K. You could wait till he's about 4 or 5K. You could buy like 10 of these. You know, Miles Garrett's a fan favorite when it comes to picking up cards and having cards in Madden. That's, he's a fan favorite. So you definitely want in on some Miles Garrett if you could. Now, coming on over, Mike Evans is okay. Always too slow for my liking, so I won't be investing in him because if his cards are really slow, people aren't going to be as. You need a card that's going to be high, like a high commodity to be, feel, feel safe about doing what you're about to do. So, in my opinion, I'd be out on that reason alone. David Johnson is not a bad one either. 
he could have a really good year with Kyler Murray under the new, uh, I don't want to say this wrong, Kingsbury offense. So there's a good chance that he could break out again. Not sure, I shouldn't say break out again, I should say. There's a good chance he could recall, recover his form. So for that reason, he can get it for like 5K, that's an awesome one. Now, I know that the Chargers, eh, I liked Melvin Gordon and Keenan Allen, but the only issue with Melvin Gordon is that we don't know if he's playing just yet. Casey Hayward's a really good one at that price point. Joey Bosa's a really good one, but Joey Bosa just got a card, so I would wait on him for now. Now, coming on over to the Chiefs don't have any, I don't think. The Chiefs have almost none because, in my in my opinion, because eh, Tyra Matthews really good. If you can get these for about 3 to 4K, that's a really good one too. Now, we'll go back to the end because there's more over here that I really liked. Let's come over to the Texans. Lamar Miller sometimes gets some glitchy cards, as he just was when the game first came out. But I think J.J. Watt, he was an awesome one. I know I know Xerxes ruined this one. He was like 4K. Guys, if you can wait till J.J. Watt comes back down to 4K, please buy him. He's always a fan favorite type card. Zerk ruined him. Of course he did. Coming on over to the Saints. Let's see. I like Kamara. Did Zerk ruin him too? Yep. If you guys can get Kamara for like 7K, be sure to scoop him up. Kamara is going to be an all. I can. I might even have to get a Kamara. If you can get evasive, I'd love a Kamara on my team. So if you can get it for that price, scoop him up. Michael Thomas is okay. A little too overpriced for my blood right now. Coming on over to the Raiders. Antonio Brown's a good one, but I bet you he killed him too. So yeah, Antonio Brown, if you can get him for like 9K, I'd really like to get this card too. Because you know Antonio Brown's going to need a glitchy card, especially with this year route running being so important. I'd definitely like that. Now Cam Newton is a really, really good one, but I know he ruined him too. Yup. Cam Newton's coming. He's on the comeback down. He was like 20K the other day after he said this. So, in my opinion, if you can get him for like 7K, Cam Newton's an awesome one. There are no mobile. Remember this. There are no mobile quarterbacks in the game right now. Once there is a mobile quarterback, like the first one, he's going to be crazy expensive. He's going to have a crazy power up card. And it could be Cam Newton. Cam Newton could be the first real mobile elusive quarterback. And especially if you can get escape artists with him. So, I'd recommend stocking up on Cam Newton's because the second he gets a good card, any good card, he's going to be crazy expensive. I would not wait for that. I believe the Lions, if they have a Darius Slay, if he's Darius Slay cheap enough, he's an awesome one. Yep, 5K. I would definitely recommend scooping a Slay soon because Slay's always a top cornerback in the game. Now, the prices so far are looking pretty good. I like the Giants, but I know Saquon's too expensive. He'd be a good power, but he's way too expensive. Golden Tate, no, he just got suspended. The Giants didn't have any, I don't believe. Lawrence Taylor doesn't really count. No, yeah, Saquon's too expensive for my blood, for right now at least. 49ers had a few good ones. Now, if you come on down, oh, is this price? Is he overpriced now? Yeah, George Kittle and Richard Sherman were pretty good ones, but you have to wait for them to come down to like 7K each. This is too expensive. Definitely too expensive now. But just remember all these names. I'd recommend like writing all these down. These are the best ones you're probably going to want. Just take an eye on them. If any of them ever go below like 8 to 7K, I'd probably scoop them up. Eagles, we got Brandon Graham's not a bad one for 1,000 coins. You have to imagine he's going to get an upgrade, and there's a lot of Eagles fans. You have to imagine you get an upgrade. Jason Peters isn't horrible either. Now, the one I really like was Fletcher Cox, but I know he's going for quite a ton. If you can get Fletcher for like below 10K, remember, even if you get the big name ones, if you can get them for below 10K, they'll be valuable anyway just because of the big name guys. So you don't have to worry about them even going up because eventually they have to go up. Now, Ezekiel Elliott was going for like 7 to 10K, but I imagine he went up. Amar Cooper's not a bad one at all. If you can get Amar Cooper for like two of these, buy these two right here and this one right here, that's about 12K about total. Think about it. And then if he gets one top card, because he will be very fast, he's going to be a speedy receiver, a tall athletic freak. Trust me, he will get upgrades. And that card will be very, very, very expensive. Leighton Van Der Esch is a really good one, too, if you can get him for like 5K. Obviously, I can only imagine Zerk went over the Cowboys, so those are probably kill too. Oh, uh, yep. Where the hell is Zeke? Okay, Zeke's 16. If you can get him for below 10K, he's an awesome buy. All year, Zeke's going to be a fan favorite in that, in that sense. I went to the Colts. I did like Andrew Luck. I don't know what his price. Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard and T.Y. Hilton are really good ones because T.Y. Hilton's a speed demon. And Darius Leonard, he got a lot of love last year. A lot of cards. So I can only imagine he's going to get some cards here. So, guys, that's about it for the video as far as the teams that I think are the best. I did skip some teams because I, there wasn't that many people on that team that I really liked at the price point. But remember, a lot of these guys I said, they are inflated right now. But they are the best investments. You just have to wait until they come down slightly because you want to make more on your money, right? So, you could buy Cam Newton for 10 k right now. And then if he comes out and sells him for 30, but if you wait till he's like 5K and you can buy 10 of them for 50K instead of 10 of them for 100K, you make an extra 50K. So I recommend waiting. If you don't want to wait, that's fine. You're going to make money on almost everything I just said. So it's up to you guys to take that as you will, guys. But if you're new to the channel, that's about it for the video. So if you're new, go down below, smash the sub button. 
Let's get to 10K. Let's get the subscriber special for you guys coming the first week of September. If you're new to the channel, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Let's get this video to 300 likes. Hopefully these investments make you guys tons of coins. I, with my current coin stack, I'm waiting to see if the market crashes for me to buy some more players for my team and then I'll probably start investing. I haven't invested yet because I want to keep my team competitive for weekend league, but there's no weekend league this week, so I got to see what I'm going to like kind of plan what I'm going to do, see what the 1030 content is going to be first. And also, comment down below if there's any guys I missed in this power list that you think I should add to it next time. That's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm out. Peace.